An execution by lethal injection in Oklahoma goes awry. This is What's News on WSJ Live. I'm Joanne Poe. Oklahoma officials are saying that a scheduled execution Tuesday evening was botched due to vein failure. The state halting the planned double execution after the first inmate's lethal drug cocktail delivery went wrong. Clayton Darrell Lockett was sentenced to die for shooting a woman in 1999. He was rendered unconscious after the execution drugs were administered, but Mr. Lockett later awoke and began to mumble in apparent distress. The inmate subsequently died of a massive heart attack more than 40 minutes after the lethal injection was first administered. U.S. economic growth slows to a crawl in the first quarter. The Commerce Department says that gross domestic product advanced at a seasonally adjusted annual rate of one-tenth of a percent. That's much weaker than the 1.1 percent growth that economists were forecasting. The data also marks one of the weakest paces of the five-year recovery as the frigid winter appeared to have curtailed business investment and weakness overseas hurt exports. So far, there's good early turnout at polling stations in Iraq Wednesday. Amid tight security across the country, Country, Iraqis walked through the streets to their local stations for the first parliamentary vote since the last U.S. troops left the country in December 2011. Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, who has led Iraq for the last eight years, is vying for yet a third four-year term. Politicians and analysts say that these elections mark a critical turning point for Iraq's young democracy. Some 21 million Iraqis are expected to vote. For more and to follow these stories, stay tuned to WSJ Live or check into WSJ.com. I'm Joanne Poe.